about doing Mexican tin art because I had it on the Christmas show a couple of years ago and I absolutely loved it. You can make little models, you can stick it on cards, you can make bunting with it, string, you know, make little holes and string. We've got some Mexican and Caribbean motifs here, but you can find all sorts of templates and fun things on the internet and it's really easy to do, okay? Oh, there's the dog. Hello, darling. What's going on? What's going on? Now, as you know, this show is all about using what you already have at home. So, all you do is you get one of these from Takeaway. I did warn you to keep it recycling. And you pull it out so that it's flat. All of these things start life as one flat piece of tin. And then you take a piece of felt or tissue paper or newspaper and literally you just, with the spoon, you just flatten it out. Choose the thickest, flattest piece of your tin and cut it to roughly the size of a template of your choice. I have got some little templates here done on tracing paper. If you find some on the internet, you just can, can print them off or copy them freehand and put them on tracing paper. I'm going to go with the avocado because I love the avocado. Tape your template onto your chosen piece of metal, then using a soft pencil, trace over your design's outline to create a fine embossed image on the metal. So you just go around your little template like that. So can you see on the back it's starting to form the avocado shape and then there are all sorts of amazing designs for tin art on the internet. Now turn over the metal and using your pencil run it gently along each side of your raised lines. Gently, you don't want to squash the ridge that you've just carefully made, you just go on the outside to improve the definition like that. You just want to be careful not to go through it. So wherever you've done a line, do a line next to it. Once your outlines look peachy or avocado-y, start adding detail. Do you see, you're just working to give it character and definition. There. You turn it over, you take your tape off. There we are. And then you start colouring. Use permanent markers to fill in your design. Stronger colours work best. That is the first time we've heard an aircraft since we've been filming in the garden. Right. OK, so I'm taking this second green and just layering it over. You can get all sorts of effects. You can experiment, get different shades, different colours, different ways in which the light reflects. There we are. And then you just cut out your avocado. Next, use a pair of small sharp scissors to cut out your design. Once you've cut out your shape, carefully punch a hole at the top to thread ribbon or string. Make sure you get it in the right place or you'll end up with a squinty decoration. You can always try it out with some tape first. I'm really pleased with that. 